show you how to create and install custom WeChannels channels and forwarders using Customize Me. Now, real quick, the difference between a channel and a forwarder is that a channel takes the actual app, the .dol file or the .elf file, and installs it onto the system memory, the WAD file, the channel. So you can remove the SD card and run the app from your system memory. However, the Wii doesn't have a lot of system memory, so I'd actually recommend using forwarders, which are basically shortcuts from the Wii's main menu to the app on the SD card, so they take up a lot less memory on your Wii's uh, system memory, but it requires you to have your SD card in in order to run the app. Now, you will need the homebrew channel. So if you don't already have that, you can go check out one of my other videos and come back to this one when you're done. Now, you will need an SD card. I'll be using a 2 gigabyte. Mm. Yeah. Let's get started. Insert the SD card into your computer. All right, first you can follow the link in the video description and download Customize Me. And just click download. And download it. Alright, once it's finished downloading, you can just right click and extract it with WinRAR, which you can also download from the video description. And then you open the folder and run Customize Me. Right, first thing you're going to need is a base channel to edit. And you can either download the static base, or you can use one of the base channels, like you can use one of the channels that I've created. Just drag and drop. Okay, next you can go to title and create the title. That's the the name that will appear when the cursor is over the channel. You can also create separate uh, channel titles for different languages if you like. So you can go to options and edit the title ID. Now, you want to be careful with the title ID because if you, there's another channel with the same ID, this will overwrite it. So you try to be very unique with the title ID. Then uh, you can change the startup iOS if you have problems, but I'd leave it at. Uh, 35 is the default. Next, you can, if you want to create an actual channel, that you can load the app from your Wii system without the SD card, then you can create, you know, browse and load a DAW file. Or if you want to create a forwarder, which takes up less memory on your Wii, but it requires you to have your SD card in, you can create a forwarder. And then just enter the file in the apps folder on the SD card. And click OK. Now, if you have trouble, you can also change the NAND loader. Uh, I'd leave it at COMEX as the default. Then next, you can choose the sound that plays when you, right before you load your channel. Now, unfortunately, it has to either be a, a WAV or a WAV or a BNS file. So I use a format factory to convert my audio. Select WAV, OK, and start. 
it's very quick, so you just drag and drop the new file on the desktop, exit. Right, and you can just drag and drop the wave file in there. So that'll be the new music now. I wouldn't uh, recommend using a music file that's very long because it will increase the size of your channel or forwarder. Okay, next you can go to banner and then you can download a have a banner for your channel. I recommend going to either uh, Google Images. You can download all kinds of uh, pictures and just you know, right click and save as. And then once you have your file, you'll have to edit it. Well, I'm going to resize it so it's, you know, so it's the correct size. So it has the, the size right there. So. Okay. And save it. And then you can replace the banner. And select the image you want to use. And then next, you can go to icon and choose the icon you want to do. It's the same thing. You can download a, an image or create your own image or whatever. And then edit, edit it and resize it so it's the correct size. And then save. And then replace it. Or also for the icon, you can, if you're using, if you're creating a channel or a forwarder for an app that you can download from Webrew, I'd recommend uh, downloading their icon from the website. So just right click, save it. And of course, you're going to have to change its size to make sure it fits, otherwise everything won't look right. Okay, let's save, and then replace, select the icon, alright. Next, you have the layout and animation. Now, I wouldn't recommend changing those unless you're kind of advanced user. And then, if you do change it, and be careful because these features, if wrong handling, then it will break your Wii. So, and then once you're done, you can just click uh, Create WAD or WD. Then it'll have the title and the title ID. You can just click save. Then it'll tell you how many blocks it'll take up on your Wii's memory, along with the file size. So. You can exit customize me. Then go to the SD card. And copy the the WAD channel that you just created to the WAD folder on the SD card. And you can add as many you know, channels as you want. You can also download the channels that I've created from the video description. So we'll more about that later. And then you remove the SD card from your computer.
and insert it into your Wii. Then you can go to the Wii channel. Then go to Multimod Manager and load. Then go down to WAD Manager. Then go down and press uh, plus for all the channels or forwarders that you want to install. And then when you're ready, you can press A. Then press A to install. And then when it's done, you press any key and press B to go back and home to exit. And press home and exit to the system menu. all the custom Wii channels and forwarders that you've installed. Let's go to the FCE Ultra GX, which is the one I created just barely. right into the emulator so it's good it works that's it mm. right, and then I'll quickly show you some of the other channels and forwarders that I've created that you can download from the video description GX. SNES 9X GX. And the Media Player CE. Genesis Plus GX Sega! and the GameCube Backup Launcher. Then I already showed you the FCE Ultra GX. We can go to DOSBox Wii. And finally, the DS EMU.